In the last video, I asked you whether our two-tailed p-value for this result, a z sub x bar of 1.6, was greater than 0.05 or less than 0.05. You might recall we looked up our two-tailed p-value before using the distribution and probability calculator, and we found that our two-tailed p-value was 0 0.1096. That is, our two-tailed p-value was greater than 0.05. Remember, p-values that are smaller mean a sample that's more extreme. A p-value of 0.000001 would mean a sample that only had a tiny proportion of the distribution more than it. A two-tailed p-value at 0.7 would mean that 70% of the distribution was more extreme than it. So p-values that are smaller means more extreme samples. And so if we're comparing to our alpha level, that is our standard of evidence, we want our p-value to be less than alpha. A p-value less than alpha means that our sample is in the critical region. If we have a p-value exactly equal to alpha, that means our sample is right on the margin, that is, exactly equal to the z-critical. So, another way we can make our decision is performing the hypothesis test, and if our p-value is greater than alpha, we will fail to reject or in other words, retain the null hypothesis. That's a sample that's perfectly reasonably caused by chance. On the other hand, if our p-value is less than alpha, what as scientists we're hoping will happen, that gives us evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Another way we'll say this is a result is statistically significant. And for this course, I really caution you never to drop the statistically from this word. Statistically significant is a very specific claim if the null hypothesis is true, that result would not occur very often. So a p-value less than alpha is what we hope to find. And a p-value less than alpha simply means that our sample was in one of the critical regions. Now in this case, our p-value was greater than alpha. That is, it was not of a class of evidence that was extreme enough for us to be willing to reject the null hypothesis as a reasonable explanation.